Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying five cookies. These are made by Sweet Girl Cookies. These were sent to us from Asma in Ohio, so thank you very much, Asma. She has sent us the chocolate chip, the oatmeal raisin, pumpkin spice, peanut butter chocolate chip, and dark chocolate sea salt. Uh, these are handmade cookies you won't want to share. They are 4.4 ounces, uh, these packages are. Um, we, what we are gonna do is I'm gonna open them here for you and we are going to heat them in the microwave for a few seconds and let you know what we think. They do not say anywhere on them to heat them up, but that is how um, we have enjoyed our cookies lately. So that's, that's how we're gonna try them. And uh, with us heating them up, it also gives you the opportunity to see what they look like up close out of the package. That was the oatmeal raisin. We have pumpkin spice. Probably won't, we won't be trying them in this order, but this is just how I have them laying here. Look how, look at the chips in there and how thick that is. It's a good looking cookie. Okay, and then this one is um, peanut butter chocolate chip. They're very, very thick. Look, look how thick that is. Okay, oop, that one kind of fell apart. There we go. Just put it together. That's a good thing about cookies. And this one is dark chocolate sea salt. So we're going to talk about, we're going to describe them. We're going to talk about calories, all that stuff when we get them over to the table. But I wanted you to see what they look like right here. And then we'll be back. So this is the dark chocolate sea salt. And then we have chocolate chip, peanut butter chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin, and pumpkin spice. The first one we're going to try is the dark chocolate sea salt. And Asma was kind enough to send me a cheat sheet with the descriptions, which I love. So dark chocolate, it's called big dark chocolate sea salt. A decadent combo of... Vorhona dark chocolate cocoa and Ghirardelli bittersweet chocolate chips for a deep rich flavored cookie topped with a touch of sea salt for the perfect savory sweet mix. This one is, I'll get you a bite. This one is, um, there's two servings in the package. So you're, you divide this in half and it is 270 calories. And it's www.sweetgirlcookies.com is their website. These are actually made in Charlotte, North Carolina. So. It definitely has a darker chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, the, the cho chips are melted perfect. Mm -hmm. um, it has a darker chocolate flavor, like a cocoa, but it's not bitter. It doesn't come across as really super bitter to me. So that's, that's which is a good thing. No, you heated these up for the perfect amount of time. Yeah, so two cookies about 20 seconds, three cookies about 25 seconds. It usually works pretty Yeah, you, you did a good job. It is a, it is a dark chocolate, and, but it's a good quality dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. You know, Ghirardelli is very good chocolate. So that comes across in that cookie. It is, it's a, has a deep, uh, texture i mean uh flavor texture okay. everything the the it's very soft um it's not um raw but it's extremely soft yeah it's it's a good it's not really what you consider a crunchy cookie no not at all very soft that's how i like them yeah. this one is the chocolate chip and i'm you sitting here smelling this open go ahead and get you <laughs> uh the cookie that started it all sweet girl cookies award-winning chocolate chip cookie uses milk and semi-sweet chocolate chips that are baked into a thick chunky and oh so delicious gourmet treat these are uh, half the cookie is 290 calories. I want to. I like to get right in the middle. And I don't. I don't think you have to heat these up, but they are good heated up. Because mm -hmm. you get the melty chocolate chips. That one's good. It's it's um after eating that chocolate, the darker chocolate, it's it's not as flavorful. Right, it's not. It's a little lighter flavor. Mm -hmm. It's still really good. You do get that chocolate flavor. That mm -hmm. tastes That's like. Good your classic chocolate chip cookie yeah. that you would make at home which is a compliment i think um 
It doesn't taste manufactured. No, I don't get the really rich like buttery flavor, but I do get a good chocolate chip cookie flavor. I do get some butter from it. I, do, I like the chocolate chips in it. I like the texture and everything. This is what I would consider a monster size cookie chip. It's big. It's huge. Yeah, and they're thick. Uh, this one is the peanut butter chocolate chip. Um, the undisputed champion of flavor combinations. Peanut butter and milk chocolate chips melt together to create a luscious, cakey, and delicious cookie. That one has a lot more flavor. You do get that peanut butter. You get the chocolate. It's good and soft. It's not dry like a lot of peanut butter cookies are. <laughs> oh, it's 320 calories for two. So, 270, 290, 320. We'll move it up. And guess what? I love that. Oh my good. goodness. The peanut butter, it reminds me, um, when I was in uh, middle school, they made the best peanut butter cookies. Well, even elementary school. They just had really good peanut butter cookies. The peanut butter that they used, that peanut butter reminds me of those yeah, cookies. Yeah, I could see that. Absolutely delicious. Uh, and that's what that's you good. come away with, is that flavor of the peanut butter. I think it's wonderful. Yep, and it's good and soft too. Uh, yes, this is the oatmeal raisin, mm -hmm. and it is the classic cookie made our way. Rolled oats, raisins, and the spice of pure Saigon cinnamon combined to create a chewy cookie that will bring back memories. And it's 270 calories for all. Okay. I'm to get a huge hump, but I want a raisin. Hey, I'm just biting it right in the middle. I'm just living my best life here. It's so, it's warm. Mm -hmm. I don't know raisin poos are better warm. Mm -hmm. um, that one's good. It's not um. I get cinnamon. I like the cinnamon, but it's not an overpowering cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I like the mixture of the raisins and the, and the oats. It's got a little crispness on the outside. Honestly, the flavor would, uh, it reminds me if you've had, um, uh, just oatmeal with uh, cinnamon and raisins. I agree. Like, like you're eating a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast in the morning because I think they used um, those larger oats. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that comes across. And I think that makes the cookie is them using those bigger oats. Uh, and the raisins are delicious. Mm -hmm. the, it, it, the cinnamon is not overpowering. No, it's nice. I love the textures of it. Yeah, it's really good. And the last one is a seasonal. And so, it's 240 calories for half, the pumpkin spice. This, uh, the seasonal, it's a big seasonal pumpkin spice. Warm spices of Saigon cinnamon and clove with pure pumpkin and creamy white chips melted together for the perfect taste of fall in a cookie. A lot of times they do white with pumpkin. And how many calories did you say this has? 240. I love the pumpkin spice mix. It's a really nice mix. And it balances really well with the sweetness of the, mm -hmm. of the chips. It's really good. Do they use white chocolate chips? It's white chips. Yeah, uh, they could have probably used a cream cheese chip in there and I would have liked it even better. Um, the but, white chips are good, yeah. Cream cheese chips would work. Mm -hmm. But that's really good. I like the pumpkin spice in there. Yes, and you know it's pumpkin spice. Uh, There's no doubt about it. You taste the, the uh, pumpkin, you taste the pumpkin spice. Um, my favorite, though, is that peanut butter chocolate chip. Mine's the double chocolate one. Uh, that would be my second. Yeah. Uh, it would be peanut butter chocolate chip, and then uh, this one's called dark chocolate sea salt. Did you get sea salt? I may have got, it may have been a little salty, but it's hard to tell. Yeah, it, especially because we heated it up in the microwave. That could have affected the sea salt. I but personally did not get sea salt, but I thought it was delicious. I would just flip those two. Okay. And then my third one would be the pumpkin spice. It's really good. Okay, if I had to only pick three, I would pick peanut butter chocolate chip and then dark chocolate sea salt. And then I'm going to say, hmm, I'm going to say the OG, the the, the chocolate, chip. chocolate chip. Yeah, I really like that pumpkin spice. It's because I'm. It's the lingering flavor is pumpkin spice. But really let me good. tell you this: 
Um, they have, as far as seasonal cookies, um, they have a chocolate chewy caramel that's available in January and February. They have an a everything but the kitchen sink, which, you know, that's wonderful, uh, which is available in March and April. In May and June, they have a rainbow sugar. In July and August, they have s'mores. And pumpkin spice is September and October. And then in November, for November only, they have snickerdoodle. And then in December, they have a peppermint bark. Um, they also have a, uh, they sell a classic mix bag. Um, let's see, they, ooh. They have a lemon blueberry white chocolate. They have a white chocolate cherry. That'd be good. Oh, I love cherry. Um, but I, I do want to tell you, Asthma is selling these. Asthma um, uh, is my friend in Ohio. She has her own Merle Norman store, and she has partnered with Sweet Girl Cookies to sell these. So, during this video, I will have had Asthma's phone number. That is the number to her shop. It going across the screen, if you want to order these cookies, uh, I have had viewers order from her before. You All you have to do is call her. You call her and give her your information and she will send this to you. They Each one of these cookies is $4 each. If you order three or more cookies, you save a dollar and she'll only charge you 11, like $11 for three instead of 12, you're gonna save a dollar. And the, the shipping is $5 flat rate. So no matter um, how few you order, how many you order, she's charging you a shipping of $5 uh, flat fee. And if you know from other cookies we've reviewed on the channel, $4 a cookie for this size cheap. Is, is cheap, yes. So some people, you know, might think, oh, that's a lot. I mean, we, it is a lot. It is, but these days, for specialty cookies like this, $4 is a good price. Yeah, it's a very good price. Like $10. Yes, so <laughs> if you're interested, uh, please uh, contact Asthma. We don't get anything out of it. Mm -hmm. Asthma was just nice enough to send these to us to showcase the, the company she's partnered with. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.